Welcome in to episode 30 of Agile Digital Business Podcast. This is the start of season three. Our world right now is in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's been a global crisis now for several months, and there are so many things moving online. I've been getting lots of questions about how best to engage with clients and customers online and specifically live streaming and how to interact in a live stream and how to engage your followers in Facebook Live or a Zoom call or Instagram or going live on YouTube. There are lots of different ways that you can live stream broadcast and connect with your customers in cyberspace. In season three of Agile Digital Business, I am making a pivot. I will be bringing resources to you and also holding conversations with people who will be teaching concepts and techniques for effectively reaching and engaging with your clients and your customers through live stream broadcasts and also through ways of communicating with your students in online environments and in leading your teams during crisis and through times of future readying your business or organization so that it can weather disruption. I am Vicki Maris, author, speaker, and a digital marketer who has been very focused on helping you meet your customer or meet your client right where they are and helping you extend your reach and your message using various modes that we have at our fingertips today. And I should also say, at the end of our voice today. This episode and season three of Agile Digital Business is brought to you by my online coaching group, Livestream and Social Media Connections. If you have been using social media channels as a billboard in the past and are interested in how to develop an engaged community of followers online who aren't just figuratively driving by your posts, graphics, videos, and live stream, but who are engaging with you in the online space, I encourage you to apply to join one of my coaching groups. I am currently running a group for small business and another one for church pastors. My work as a marketer and an online course designer, as well as being a published author and a musician, has had me deep in the uses of social media channels, creating podcasts, videos, and live streams for many years. I first started doing live streams back when Meerkat and then Periscope came out. That was back in 2015. And there was a period of time for about, gosh, 18 months when I was doing a live broadcast every day. I am feeling really blessed to be able to share my knowledge with you through group coaching and to bring in guest experts to the groups. There is a lot to be learned from perspectives that are outside of your industry or your profession. That can really help you enhance the strategy that you're developing and take your online engagement to the next level. You can learn more about my online group coaching through my website, vickimaris.com. In the upcoming episodes here in season three of the podcast, you will hear from my fellow instructors, conference speakers, and connections that I have throughout the online business community and digital marketing community. If you've been listening to the show, you probably noticed that I had started this change to the podcast with the past few episodes. If you go back to episode 29, you will hear my interview with marketing thought leader Mark Schaefer, who is the author of Marketing Rebellion, The Most Human Company Wins. He is also the author of several other books and the host of a couple of podcasts. He addresses how critical it is that we listen to our customer and meet them where they are communicate and engage with them how they prefer, not in the ways that you've done it for years simply because that's how you've done it for years, or simply because that's how you were taught to do it in school. Following this episode is my interview that I just had last evening with Dr. Pete Delisle, who teaches leadership and business executives. He has a wealth of knowledge to share, and he is a great storyteller. 
He shares from his life and career experiences in the military and with companies like Hewlett Packard. I know you are going to love the conversation with Pete that's in episode 31. Please subscribe to the show so you don't miss the notification when that new episode goes live. I am also excited to share that I have an interview scheduled at the end of this month with John Lee Dumas, the podcaster known around the globe for his success in featuring entrepreneurs in his podcasts and in teaching, speaking, writing, and podcasting about ways to successfully build your brand in the online space, develop systems, and empower virtual teams. He and Kate also run an online community that's called Podcasters Paradise. That community has been key to helping me grow as a podcaster. You will continue to hear me make mention of the voice platform as I continue on here in season three. I think it is so important for us to be building voice into our overall strategy. You can hear more on preparing your business or your organization for voice if you go back and listen to the episodes in season two here in the show. I have a feeling that I'll be coming back around to voice, perhaps for season four or five, but it just seemed important to do what the name of my podcast says, and that is be agile in this digital business community and shift to a group of topics that would be meeting you where you are in this moment as you work to adjust to the changing needs of your customers. I do want to give a shout out and say thank you to Carrie Roberts, who is the host of Inside Voice. She recently had me as a guest on her show. I'll give you a heads up when that episode airs on the Inside Voice podcast. And you can also go to the Voice Summit AI Facebook page and watch the two of us as we recorded that episode live. I will include the link to the replay of that video. It'll be out there in the show notes for this episode. So if you wanna go watch it, it'll be easy to find. Beyond the show notes for this show, you can also find many of the resources that I mention here in the podcast. When you search on the hashtags, hashtag teach, inspire, connect, and hashtag agile digital biz. I often will do posts in my LinkedIn feed, on my Facebook page, which is VJ Maris, and also in my Twitter feed, which is Vicki Maris, about things that I've mentioned here on the podcast. And sometimes I'll do short little videos to let you know the topics that I've covered or to encourage you to listen to an upcoming episode of the show. As I come to a close here, I want to give you one other quick reminder that you have opportunity to grab a copy of the Kindle version of my book, Job Loss and the Cutback Blues, on April 29th and 30th for just 99 cents. It's part of a joint book promotion with some amazing best-selling authors. You will have access to 14 self-improvement books for just 99 cents each. I will do a pop-up episode here on the podcast to remind you of that opportunity for getting one, or you can get all 14 of those books for 99 cents each. Please do subscribe to the podcast so that your podcast app can notify you when a new episode goes live. With a time-sensitive episode like the one I'm mentioning here with the book promotion, with these 14 books being available at 99 cents, I will upload the episode and then bring it back down as soon as the offer is no longer valid. That does two things for you as a subscriber. One, it gives you opportunity to take advantage of an offer as soon as it becomes available. And it also serves as a way to keep the podcast feed from being cluttered with things that are no longer pertinent or no longer apply. Podcasters will use that technique so that if a new listener is going back and binge listening many episodes, they won't have those time-sensitive episodes in their feed. I do hope you'll take advantage of that offer or share it with a friend. I want to give a shout out to my fellow author, Tanya Murray, who put that book promotion together and gathered several of us authors in the self-improvement space to include their books as a part of that promotion. So thank you, Tanya, for the work you have done in making that offer available for all of us authors to share with our own communities. Will you join me now in heading out 
or let's say in going online to teach, inspire, and connect. <laughs>